Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Factory Down. So last episode here, we automated cake and a lot of it. And I had made a mistake where I put these all together and we didn't have enough inputs or uh, room for the output to get the cake out of it. So I took a few minutes here before the recording and figured out myself a solution. I just bumped this kitchen over twice, made a nice little area in here uh, and carried the cake out this way. So now uh, what we can do is make a boat and have that boat deliver the cake to the people and then take the cake from the single kitchen and uh, turn it into berry cake. That is our project today. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a f uh, cargo boat here. So we're going to plop that cargo boat down. Tell the cargo boat to pick up. Ooh, what is in here? We have sugar in here and that is not correct. <laughs> let's open that up. Oh, yes. I had made a mistake and put the wrong line to it, but uh, let's get rid of that sugar and it should fill up with cake for us here. Uh, so we're going to tell that cargo boat to grab our cake and deliver it to one of these barns over here. Uh, that way it'll go into our gourmet foods and be spread out to our town. Uh, the other thing here is we can actually save a few citizens because if we take a look here, we got a cargo boat full of cheese here. It's not even the taking all the cheese and sandwiches we can actually combine these together let's go ahead and pause this uh so i'm taking a look in here uh we're doing really good on cheese but we're only getting like 16 sandwiches across so we're actually wasting a whole cargo boat we're gonna delete that guy and we're gonna actually put a filter on here whoops click on the right thing here why is it doing that to me let's put a filter on here for sandwiches there we go. So now this boat will pick up sandwiches and cheese. So now what I'm going to have to do is tell it to also take that, those sandwiches, and deliver them to what I would assume would be this barn over here. Oh, I guess I got to wait for it to actually get some sandwiches in it. So let's unpause that. And what is stuck here? Jam. Are we waiting... Are we jammed up? Ooh, bad pun. Wow, look at this. We got three for cheese and none for jam. Oh, wow, that's uh, a little silly. So let's actually fix that error, too. I'm glad I came back over here. We're going to delete that and uh, turn that into jam and actually stop this traffic jam over here. There we go. We'll get rid of the jam boat and make another slot on here just for the jam. Okay, so this boat is carrying uh jam sandwiches and cheese lots of cheese that is good because you can always use cheese okay so we're going to tell this boat here we already told it to drop off oh no we have to wait for it to pick up one second here let's get this going okay so i think i got it fixed here so we have jam cheese sandwich and then cheese stored up in here uh so is that boat going to start going now whatever is it doing okay pick up here and drop off here will it do the basic thing here oh there we go now it's going along its merry way that is so weird the boat was all weirded out okay is our jam flowing now yep we got the jam that's awesome okay so let's give this a minute here to um do its thing if it all delivers it to the same thing uh that's actually okay for now because i think this barn can uh can handle it okay look at that and we have cake going to the people too this is our uh cake boat right here is it delivering enough cake? Am I not getting the cake right? Okay, it's still taking a little while to uh, make the cake, so it looks like the boat's delivering the cake faster than it's being made. Uh, that's okay, though. Let's take a look at our happiness now. We are up to uh, six, 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 765. Oh, numbers. Okay, so our next step then, now that we have some workers back, I'm going to go ahead, flatten this area over here, and we got to start the, uh, the berry cake up. Okay, so for berry cake, of course, we're going to need the cake. Uh, we're going to need jam. Actually, we could get a boat to deliver jam here all the way from our jam factory because we're actually producing a lot of jam. Uh, our sugar, we can get here from locally, and we can actually get berries too. Uh, now, jam might be the problem. Let's take a quick look here. I'm going to go over here. What does it take to make the jam? Uh, for jam, you need... It actually shows you here. You need berries, fruit, and sugar, and fire. Actually, yeah, you know what? 
we're gonna bring the jam. We're we're gonna make the jam back over here. It'd be much easier than using an entire boat. Okay, awesome. So I think uh, we're gonna plop our farms right here. One here. One here. And uh, get this going. Actually, I think one berry farm should do enough for the jam and the berries you need for the cake. Because if you take a look at the cake here, uh, the ca take cake takes berries and so does the jam. So we just need one good sized jam farm and then make it all right here. I think that'll look good. Uh, so of course I'm going to use the uh, copy block here again. There we go. So we got uh, a berry farm going on here. I get it all programmed and good to go. Um, I'm actually going to take this out because I don't, I don't really think berries are a huge requirement um, at this point uh, with fertilizer because that's a lot of berry bushes and it should be able to handle it just fine. There we go. Berries are growing. Berries are coming down. We should be good to go here. Wow, look at them grow. That's insane looking. It's quick too. Can't believe how quick that was. Okay, so this is good to go. Of course, we got to get a kitchen going on here, making our actual cake. So we're going to put that there. We're going to put another kitchen, I think, right here, and then split off our berries going into both kitchens. There we go. Bottom row will go over there. And I think if I go like this, yes, look at that. It made it for me. Oh, that is beautiful. And we will turn this right into this this place here if i did that right <laughs> there we go okay so both places have berries so this one here this one's going to be making the jam and this one is going to be making our actual delicious berry cake there we go and for this uh for the jam we actually need uh, some fuel which we can siphon off uh right here off of these uh, three kitchens. That's actually quite useful. Okay, I'm gonna make a, a nice little ramp system to go over this. So I just realized how silly that was. Um, <laughs> you cannot put chutes uh, through ramps like that. I was gonna put it up and over and I'm like, wait, what am I doing here? That is not right. So we'll bring this just down straight this way. And what we'll do with this is just keep this up at the level it is and just bring it into the kitchen the way it is. There we go. So we got our berries hooked up here. We got our fuel hooked up over here. Uh, now, both of these buildings still need the sugar. So I got to figure out how to get the sugar over here. Uh, now, I, we have a level of sugar right here. We could take it out, bring it around, and uh, kind of wrap it over top. Or, yeah, we could actually bring it out the front at a level high and put them in the fronts and then the outputs can come out this way. Uh, this one should actually go right into this building just like this actually. We copied the right thing, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna make a nice little uh, elevated system to bring that sugar over. Okay, and I think we're actually, yes, look at this, we're finally producing a berry cake. We got some jam going on, uh, we got some cake and some berries, so we are looking pretty damn good now the one thing that's really kind of slowing down here is our grain mills like i said we'd have to come back and take a look at this um at a future time once we get stuff up and going we're kind of hurting for workers at this point so i can't be uh spending too crazy so i think what we should do here is add another silo we will store our berry cakes in there and we'll use the same boat to deliver the berry cakes too let's copy that if I did that right, instead of accidentally attaching it to this belt here, um, it would have went to this silo. Whoops. Uh, what I can do, actually, for just for now, is pause the game and take this off the belt. I don't know why I said just for now, but that's how we're going to do it. Remove resource. Oops, not remove resource. That is the wrong tool. We want to go pick up item. Perfect. There we are. Okay, awesome. And where is that boat? Ah, there is our delicious cake boat. So we're gonna tell that uh, cake boat. Here we go. We're gonna tell that cake boat to come here and deliver berry cake. No, we want it to be picking up the berry cake. Oh no, we still have one more on the line clogging stuff up. Um, oh, did it go in? 
<laughs> it still went in. These silos can be a pain in the butt sometimes. That's why I don't really use them too often, but they're nice and small and compact. Um, I should just build a barn here, but I don't think we're really going to be getting overstock anytime soon. Okay, let's get that going here. We'll take this boat. Tell it. To drop off everything in the silo? No. Deliver berry cake there. I think I'm completely doing this wrong. Oh, wait, it came back. Okay, so I guess we'll uh, do this properly and put item filters on here. So we'll do one for berry cakes because we probably won't have as many down the road. And one for uh, cake cakes. Well, did it just deliver cakes to there? Can it not pick up from two? Let's try this out. Yeah, and look at that, it turns around. So it's gonna drop off the berry cake and do that. Okay, so we're gonna have to use a barn for this. Um, lesson learned, I guess. My bad. Okay, there we go. So we got our barn going on. Now we should be able, I think, to... Ah, there we go. So now I have an option of delivering both. Uh, over to another barn. So noted, you can't actually make multiple stops with the boats. I did not know that. Lesson learned. I hope that saved you guys some time in the future. Um, or even now. Make all the mistakes for you. There we go. Look at that. I got an achievement, achievement unlocked purple coin. We have our first pur purple coin. We now have 96. <laughs> that uh, that cake sells pretty damn well. It'll make the people real happy, I think. Okay, so of course we're going to let it uh, run its course here. So i got to check up on a few things around town. Uh, for our base, what, what I really want to do is actually level up our base here. So uh, it's going to take 200 purple coins. No problem. We'll get that in no, in no time. Uh, we're going to have to make enchanted books and mana bricks. So we're going to have to take a look at that stuff here soon, too. We're going to have to start actually... Uh, producing mana. We should do that before anything else, I think, at this point. Okay, so I'm going to take a look here on the map for some mana. So here we go. We have a, a bunch of mana shards up this way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, be boring and flatten this down to the same level as this, uh, just so we can make things really easier for ourselves. That's a huge elevation difference. I'd just like to note too, we're up to uh, about 795 happiness here, and we've already got 204 purple coins. It's looking pretty damn fantastic. Okay, so I placed a mine down here, and I'm going to select mana shards. Uh, so that's how we mine the mana shards here. What's this calling for mana shards? Oh yeah, the mana books and the mana blocks. Now, I do believe the mana blocks. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so they are not made in there. So where are the mana blocks made again? It's been so long since I've gotten to this stage. Magic Forge. Okay, so I do believe... This is what you actually use to make it. So we're going to actually make one of these. Uh, but we do need some more population here. So I have to take a look at stuff I can sacrifice at the moment. Um, oh, wow. There's a... Yeah, we have, like, still research people going on over here. Let's shut this down. We're not doing any research. There we go. That freed up a few workers for us. Nice. <laughs> I'm already farming mana over here. Um, I'm having a moment here, guys. So let's take a look at the, uh, the Magic Forge. It's been a while since I've done it. Ah, okay. And this is how you make mana bricks. You need bricks, of course, and mana crystal. We should actually just hook ourselves up over here. Like, look, we have the fuel, we have the mana. Okay, I'm gonna go delete that one mine and, uh, we'll set up over here. Okay, so we're actually going to use the same forge here to make uh, mana bricks because it'll actually have its own mana crystals in its inventory. Uh, so all we'll have to do is feed it with some stone bricks here and it'll output that mana brick for us. Uh, so I'm also going to have to turn this around and uh, put a filter grabber on here just to grab the mana crystals themselves. Okay, so I'm looking here. I'm just, uh, I've opened up this dialogue with my mine shaft here. And I'm kind of looking around for rocks, and we really don't have very many rocks in this area. That's actually 
uh, quite unusual. Usually there's tons of rocks. So what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, buy this uh, land parcel right here. It's only 6k. We've got tons of money. Is there any rocks nearby? Wow, look at that. No rocks. Okay, well, I guess we'll try this one here. And... Am I being completely blind? Because I do not see any rocks there either. What luck is that? So in any stone? Well, nope, not even there. Okay, I guess we'll purchase this one for 7k, and bam, we have some stones right there, we have some stones up there, and I do believe we had some stones over here, so those are even further than over here. But at least we have this unlocked now, we can see a little further, looks nice. What's left of the nature over here, which will soon probably be flattened into something else. Uh, so let's go ahead. I can actually get into that menu again by uh, selecting the mine shafts, because I'm going to place them first anyway. And uh, these are rocks right here. So I'm going to have to see how far we can go. How far can we go with this? Can't afford, bring more resources. Ah, never mind. Okay, so hopefully I can place a mine over here. There we are. And it's close enough. What are we linked to here? Coal and earth stone. I thought that was stone. Yeah, that's stone over there. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Um, it is too far away. We're still too far away, so I'm going to build it right at the edge over here. Okay, so now we're connected to, uh, to stone here. So let's actually go back to the underground menu. I'm going to go mineshaft, and it, oh, it just like barely touches the stone too. Ugh, that's horrible. So this is, I guess, is uh, one of the challenges we're going to run into here, expanding in the future. Damn, there's so much stone there too. I could, I could go around this way and uh, build a mine over here and just kind of run it down. I guess that's what we're going to have to do because, or just move this thing up here and run it down for now. Oh my god, choices. Okay, whatever. The game wins. I'll bring it up there. We're not really using the space right now anyway, so... I mean... I'll let it win. There we go. So I've made the stone mason, and I'm going to tell it to make some stone bricks up. And then we will bring those stone bricks directly. Whoops. Let's copy the right thing again. Into there. There we go. And now it should also be making mana bricks. Yeah, there we go. We're finally producing mana bricks. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to actually just go for now and put those directly into a barn. Because we need to save those up. Okay, so there we go. We are now officially storing mana bricks. That was actually uh, rather easy. We already had half the thing set up. And we still have some workers to work with, which is pretty damn cool. Okay, so let's go check out the last thing we needed. It was Enchanted Books, I do believe. And we do have a workshop over here. We will take a look at what it takes to make Enchanted Books. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to assume... Magic Forge? Nope. I'm going to assume here the Enchanter makes enchanted books. That would make sense, right? Uh, so in order to make an Enchanter, we actually need 50 mana bricks. So that's going to take a few minutes to get those together. We're only at 17. So while we're waiting for those mana bricks, let's come back here and uh, actually take a look at this place here. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we'll, we'll actually fire this back up. And if we need books, we'll actually take this... Uh, where is our research right here? Our school. And what we'll do is we'll tempor temporarily take the school out, put an output from the workshop making the books um, into this barn here. And we can actually reverse this cargo boat uh, to deliver our, our books over to this barn and then use the enchanter in here. Um, I think that would work out well. And then when we need to do research, we'll just turn it around, right? Because I'm sure enchanted books aren't going to be a huge call in the long run uh, as long as you have them stored. Uh, are you able to, uh, we might be even able to sell them to the town too, to be honest. Actually, this boat right here is taking up two employees for nothing right now. Uh, but let's get back focused and, uh, take a look here. We're at 35 mana bricks. Uh, we are actually suffering a bit on the, the sugar side. 
Let's take a look at our kitchens here. Yes, so sugar here, of course, in our berry kitchen. And then we're suffering for sugar in this kitchen here too, because every single one uh, uses the sugar. So I'm gonna, definitely gonna add another worker to that bad boy there. Now it makes sense why the base places um, multiply by two for every worker you have because you can add steam and stuff to all your kitchens and grain mills and whatnot to uh, improve the speed and you know as well as other stuff uh, but there we go so we're pumping out a little bit more sugar we're also falling a little bit behind on the grain mills too uh, but if you take a look it looks like it's still suffering to put out a good amount of wheat so we're going to start at the base and uh, put an extra worker into both and that still leaves us with a couple extra workers here Because I do believe we can get ourselves up to 800 if we uh, output more cake. And look at that, we're already at 852 purple coins, like nothing. Okay, and we finally have 50 mana bricks kicking around. So let's uh, build that enchanter here. It's under buildings. Oops, if I could spell. There we are, we'll plop her down. And take a look here at what it takes to make an enchanted book. So, of course, uh, you need a book. Ooh, and you need mana power. Okay, so that's something we're also going to have to take a look into here. I think to create mana power, we actually need mana crystals, which uh, we're doing pretty well on here, according to this Magic Forge. Yep, we're pretty good. Okay, so let's take a look then at the uh, the mana power. Here we go. We're gonna need a lot more mana bricks. We're gonna need uh, 40 for each. So I think we have to build the uh, the transmitter, which eats seas, and then the receiver, which receives the power from it. And then we gotta build the mana pipe system, which we're gonna need mana pipes for. Oh boy. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to accomplish that this episode. That is um, a lot of work. So we're gonna have to find creative ways of reducing our workforce by maybe adding more power uh, to steam power. Yes, we could add more steam power and actually take away uh, employees. So we could come over here and actually um, shut down our um, conveyor belt system for now because we do have a decent amount. We have a thousand in there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here and uh, shut down this system. This will give us a good savings of workers. There we go, we have 236 of 252 now, so that definitely helped us to uh, free some up. Just making sure we don't have any kicking around over here doing nothing. Okay, awesome, we're completely empty over here. We don't need any of this stuff anyway, this is um, for only when we need it. So, we have some savings here, I guess we may as well start looking at making like mana pipes and all the other stuff. Okay, so how much of this do we have stored? Only 36, is there any way we could speed this up? take a look here I guess uh, by ooh, let's bring some steam over to this the steams right here okay so I brought the steam pipes over to our forge over here and uh, that did actually increase our output nice without having to sacrifice a worker uh, let's actually take a quick look at our steam system make sure it's performing as we need supply is 3500 demand is 28 yep we're still looking pretty damn good at it 125 percent okay so i do feel that the mana bricks are moving considered considerably faster now which is nice uh, so let's look take a look here at our mana power again so for our mana pipes we're going to need steam pipes Mana crystals, fuel, and blue coins. So that's not too tough. Um, our steam pipes are actually being crafted over here. Or our pipes, our steam pipes are being crafted over here. I do believe it's this barn right here. So yes, we have uh, this mine supplying fuel. These making ingots. And this actually making the pipes. So I guess we could fire this back up. And <laughs> that is a far way to go. To really bring uh, steam pipes. Hmm. I guess we can remake this over there. That won't be too bad. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we are actually going to look for some uh, iron ore. Which I do believe, yeah, there's right over here. So that's not going to be too bad at all. Okay, I guess uh, we'll set this up right in behind here. Like kind of tucked in here. We'll place the mine over here for now because um, that is so incredibly easy to move around. 
And we will build ourselves a mine shaft. Oh no, look at this. We're actually out of picks. So, oh, we're producing picks over here too. Of course we are. Uh, which one is producing picks? Okay, you know what I did is we actually had a barn full of picks and what I had done is I had actually moved it. So we are going to siphon off a few picks off the main line here. That might suffer with our happiness a little bit, uh, but I think it'll be okay. We're producing quite a bit of them. So for this, what I'm going to do, of course, we're going to pause this for a second here. And we're actually going to build a pusher right here facing this way and put the item filter of pick on it. There we go. So it should essentially uh, pass any picks here for the next little bit uh, directly onto this belt, hopefully. Okay, it does not seem to be working. I'm going to go pause here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why that is. I've done that before. So let's remove this. Here we go. So what I did was I took the little uh, supports out of there. I don't know if those are supports messing it up, but I'm going to try this again. Okay, so there we go. So I have the pickaxe saying push all the, or the, the pusher saying push all the pickaxes off to the side here. And it's still not doing it. Is that not at the same level? Am I, am I going nuts here? So I wonder then if we use a grabber to do that. Here we go. I'm going to put the grabber in there. And filter it with a pickaxe. Let's see what happens here. They're still filtering through. That is really weird. What am I doing wrong here? Drive myself mad. Okay. Uh, so we're going to place a sorter on there. I don't know why I completely forgot about the sorter. But if this doesn't work, um, I can, I'll eat my hat. So there we go. And it is not pushing. It's not pushing them off, off to the side. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. It actually is. Okay. I'm going insane. There we go. Uh, so it is pushing the pickaxes off to the side, but apparently I'm just not seeing them go down the belt. Yeah, like, I am definitely not seeing them going down the belt. Wow, what a noob move, but seriously. Where are the axes? Oh, there's one. Okay, never mind. Skippy's going insane. Okay, so we got some pickaxes going on again. Let's get back to what we were doing. There we go. So we have uh, more than enough access here for iron. So I'm going to go ahead to this mine and uh, select only iron ore. There we go. And we will put an output on this. Going directly into a forge. And we, of course, will be turning that into ingots. Or iron plates. Yeah, they call these iron plates. I'm sorry. I always call them iron ingots. It's the same icon as the gold ingots, too. So... Uh, just call them iron ingots. Okay, so let's go ahead then and make... Oh, it looks like it's having a hard time now. Uh, this mine over here is having a hard time keeping up with the coal demand. Uh, so let's put some more output into that. We'll put two workers. Did it update? Yes, there it did. Awesome. And uh, I also wanted to steal fuel off of that for the forge over here too. Um, now there is some coal what I could do. Oh, yes We'll do one iron out and one coal out and uh, just tell it to collect some coal, too. Oh dear. That's easy What am I doing here? There we go one for iron and this one here will be for coal There we go and also select coal off that bad boy too. unpause it and Yes, it's supplying both the fuel and the ore for this forge. That's actually kind of cool. Why did I not think of doing that before? Shame. Uh, anyway, we should be able to now select and make our steam pipes. There we are. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so now we uh, want to make this our mana pipes in here too. Uh, oops. There we go. So I'm going to select all three recipes. Of course, it's not going to be able to make the steam pipes or the uh, mana pipes yet. So I need to bring the steam pipes over here to get into our forge and then do an output, I guess, in right into our storage uh, for mana pipes. There we go. Got that all sorted. I actually upgraded the barn here so we can hold more. So there we go. We got mana bricks, mana bricks. Uh, let's actually go ahead and upgrade that more. There we go. Uh, that much more storage is better. And uh, mana pipes will go here. So now I just got to get the rest of this hooked up. 
There we go. So now we are officially making mana pipes now. We got pipes going in there. We got all sorts of things. So there we go. Nice and compact. And we're getting a little bit of everything we need. Uh, so let's take a quick look here at our mana power stuff. So for our mana transmitter, we're going to need a uh, the mana bricks. So we're going to go ahead and build the mana transmitter. Actually, literally, I think, right here. And then we will build the receiver right here, I do believe. And that should be able to power that. Um, I completely forget how this goes, so it may be a little bit of a struggle at first, but we'll get this figured out. So, of course, there we go. Mana right into the transmitter here. Okay, so I had to set a display mana pipe overlay um, button, so I chose my pad period. No. Oh. And that should bring us right into the uh, the mana overlay here. Uh, so let's go ahead and build ourselves some mana pipes. I don't even think we needed to build the receiver, to be honest. Here we go. And right into there. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. And I think we got to actually... Oh, no. We went right back into the wrong one here. So let's press that again. And build mana pipes. There we go. Mana pipe. We will lead this out. And I think we need to put it into the receiver. So we will actually move this thing here. Yeah, there we go. So it's going into the uh, the receiver now. So if we exit out, uh, we should have another output and we can actually recycle that right back in. So let's go ahead, re uh, return this building, return the building around. And <laughs> we can make this really, really funky. There we go. It's actually recycling its own mana crystals now. Nice. So our enchanter now has mana power. So we're good to go into mana power. Uh, so let's go ahead then. And we have enchanted books. So all we need now, now that we have mana power, is uh, the books. So let's go ahead and reverse this barn here. We will actually delete some of these crystals. Sad times. Oops. Press pause. Delete some of those crystals. Put a filter on it that says books. Just like that. And I'm going to put um, mana crystal filters on here too, just so it doesn't get messed up. Now we got to reverse this island here a little bit. So we're going to delete our school. Uh, our output is already facing in the correct direction. And we will have it go right in here. So I get, get rid of this grabber and put it into this barn. There we go. And this barn is full of mana crystals. Uh, here we go. Delete some of those, and it'll fill up with books. Okay, so I don't think we actually have to uh, pause at this point here. Books, and we will do this one, Mana Crystals, just to keep it like that. So eventually we'll have to flip back to research, right? Uh, but I like the way this works out. It's kind of cool. Okay, so this boat right here, we're going to press pause. Give it a second. And um, we'll actually delete its inventory. There we go. Tell it to pick up books and bring books over to this barn. And we should have that slot there, and I will make a ramp, or a system bringing the books out into our enchanter over here. There we go. So eventually we should have books going into this bad boy, and I am actually going to, uh, I'm gonna just make a whole new barn over here. They're not too expensive. There we go, look at that. A bunch of books on the line, coming this way. And of course, I'm going to have to turn that island on again. Do we have enough employees? We definitely have enough employees to turn that island on to make books. Okay, awesome. There we go. We have some enchanted books in storage now. And it looks like our uh, magic forge is suffering here a little bit, coming up with uh, the mana crystals we need. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put another worker into that. Okay, so this thing is definitely not keeping up with our demand for uh, mana crystals. It's just literally eating them up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is create a second one here. And we will create a feedback loop right into that building and hopefully cause um, a little bit of an overflow here. Okay, so I'm going to add an extra worker to this mine here too to help uh, keep our mana output good. Or uh, flowing well. So we have... It looks like we're actually running pretty good here. Is it pumping any more mana crystals out into the line? Uh, that is my question. And it is actually absolutely not. So what we're going to do here is cut this off and use this here specifically for our power. Um, all I'll do is bring it over on belt. Not a big deal. Okay, there we go. And we finally have some of the mana crystals uh, nice and flowing away here. Uh, now... 
I think I'm doing this. Yes, I'm doing this intersection actually completely wrong here. I want the mana, the fresh mana crystals to flow into there. Okay, so apparently I forget how to uh, recharge these things. I'm pretty sure it just goes right back into the uh, mana transmitter, but uh, let me know down in the comments exactly how that works. So we are producing, though, um, Enchanted Books, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, we need to also turn on this damn island, which I keep forgetting about. Here we go. Oh, there's one worker sitting in there doing nothing. What a waste. There we go, and our books are flowing again, so awesome. So in no time here, we actually should be able to upgrade our base. We just need 40 enchanted books, and we are at 12. So by next episode here, guys, we should be able to upgrade our castle and add some more, or our base, and add some more homes to our setup. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go with a layered design for our city. Uh, we're actually going to build, go up with supports, build another platform, and build some more houses right on top of all of this. And I do believe we can actually like layer our uh, coverage here by doing that. Uh, we'll check it out next episode. I think it'll look pretty damn cool. Uh, might need some patience, but... I think it'll look cool in the end. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I will see you in the next episode. As usual, stay classy, always back up them game saves, and have a good one. I'm gonna do my thing my way, no matter what you people do. I'm gonna do my thing much better than you, no matter what you say or do. Oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck. Good boy.